the forest is full of different kinds of trees and the understory is delicate. And these people are uncovering the delicate understory that's native so it can flourish. My name is Peggy Bartelson and um, I'm volunteering to help clear out invasive uh, species from the Southwoods Park here. I live in the neighborhood and um, I uh, would walk by here every day and I saw them working one day and um, it seemed like a very worthwhile cause and I guess I've been working whenever they do it for a few months now. <laughs> we are working inside the fence along the property of the school and we have a challenge here because there's a lot of ivy and ivy can destroy these beautiful trees. Yeah, so I mean, so I, I, I come out whenever Betty Lynn asks me to come out, <laughs> yeah, honestly, um, and, and I would come out uh, anyway, but I mean, you know, Betty Lynn and, and then Charlie before her just made this an absolute passion and along with a bunch of other committed community members, they created a really amazing citizen-led initiative mm -hmm. to preserve this set open space. Well, at the time that Charlie and I bought the house, he was working at the North Rehabilitation Facility, which was part of the King County Health Department and King County Jail System. And they had an open campus for people who needed to, to rehabilitate from drug and alcohol problems that resulted in accidents, DWIs. And he walked through the woods knowing that something needed to happen. And one day, one of the teachers at the high school, Terry Clayton, came to Charlie and said, one of the students has rumor that the Southwoods is going to get purchased and developed. Well, that set up a red flag, and we've been working ever since. It took 10 years to do all the complicated networking to preserve the woods. And the woods was in ownership of different entities and we were able to consolidate it and then finally we were able to bring it in as a as a city park take the fences down and take the no trespassing signs down and get it open to the public have the, this, this platform which was the foundation for one of the houses and now the protrusions that were holding up the, the structure are gone and it's smooth. It could be used as an outdoor classroom and then the space that we're clearing now that's been all fenced off is a bit of a, a mystery but I envision a, a structure where the students can come during the school day and really immerse themselves in the learning process. And there are a number of people who have taken this on and devoted themselves to come. And we have someone now for the, the coming year to work on the interior of the, of the land who is contracted by the city of Shoreline and she's a restoration ecologist. So she can lead, lead the environmental activities in the future. 